Welcome back to another episode of Amori. It is quite quiet. In the last episode, we went to Basil's house and then he freaked out over a photo. We went to the white room. We stabbed ourselves. That was the only logical choice there. And now we see a sleeping boy in his room. I said that backwards. Dyslectic. Dix, disle Why do they make the condition of swapping two letters the most difficult word to say? Dyslexic. What's his name? Uh, who is this boy? He is none other than our boy. I can't capitalize it. So, Cortex. Cortex is my other alias that I go by. So, other than Sharpshooter3651, Cortex is a big name I use. Whenever I'm naming the character, it's always Cortex. The boy's name is Cortex? Yes, strange name, but we'll go with that. Who is this boy? It just it looks like a Mori. Am I now starting the game? Hey Cortex, it's mommy. I'm still in the city setting things up for our new home. Did you finish packing yet? The movies are gonna be in our house in a few days, so I left a list of things for you to do before they arrive. <clears throat> Oh, so sorry. Mommy messed up. I forgot to tell you. I forgot to tell the electric company that we need a few extra days before we're ready to move so the lights might cut out sometime tonight. Anyway, I know moving to a new place can be a little nerve-wracking right now, but I think a change of scenery will be a positive for both of us. No, you haven't talked to anyone in a while, but you might want to say goodbye to your old friends before we leave. Kel has been trying to... Kel has been trying really hard to get a hold of you ever since we put our house up for sale. He's been calling us every week for the past few months. Seems a little lonely. Maybe you should pay a vi him a visit. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Bzz. I need to clear my throat. You are hungry. Yes, I am hungry. Hold on. Alright, throats are cleared up. An old computer. So, is this Amori? Are we dead? Does... Does our character die? Does everyone die? <laughs> when I said that one person would be dying in the photo, it was actually everybody dies. Let's go back to bed. You are hungry. Well then, there's our mission objective. We are hungry. You sure you want to go downstairs? Yes, I'm hungry. What? Fake house plant. Family photos. Let's go in here. A bathtub, a toilet, me in the mirror. My cortex is for mommy. I remember to brush your teeth every day. I'm hungry. Let's go downstairs. You don't want to look down. Go down. You feel dizzy. Maybe you can sleep it off. You feel dizzy. Maybe you can sleep it off. A second ago, I was fucking hungry. Yes. What the hell was the point of that? Hey, you can't sleep in this bed. Go out into the, the foyer. 
All right. Now go to sleep. Uh-oh. I might have slept a little too long. Oh, I bet you wish you went downstairs before. Now look what you got to deal with. You going to feel dizzy again? Nope. Now, now this is fine. All right. Now that the staircase is long and demented, let's now go down. Perfect. I'm having a bad dream. You are hungry. Yes, I know. That's why we're trying to get to the kitchen. Maybe if we would have left earlier, we could have gotten to the kitchen. But now we're going to get sucked away by all these hands. And the all left hands, by the way. Hurry, grab the knife. The hands. Stab self. No, let me stab myself. We're all colored in now, too. Oh, that's... That's a extra realistic hand. Yep. Let's, uh, let's not stop. I have a bad feeling that stopping would cause bad things to happen. Uh, it's getting closer. It's not like he was grabbing me or anything. Oh, my character looks afraid. Well, we grabbed the knife, so let's fight it. Skill. No skills. Let's attack. Something. It did nothing. Then let's run. I guess we have no option but the fight. And take damage every time. Well, this feels hopeless. Cortex. <laughs> My attack did nothing. Something taunts Cortex as he falls. Take a deep breath. Don't be afraid. It's not as easy as you think. You steady yourself and remember how to calm down. That, that's the narrator talking. My attack's doing nothing. <sighs> Calm down. Whoops. Uh oh. Got a message. I need to look. Wait, who sent me a message? Oh, it doesn't matter. Hey, we're down here now. Hey, what's up? Food. Oh, first aid kit. Let's go get something to eat. What are you shaking your head for? Okay. Uh, this way. Give me this knife. Pick up the steak knife. Look in the fridge and find cold steak. Take it. Yes, please. You got sto cold steak. You should probably heat it up. I hope it's leftover steak. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to get food poisoning. Yeah, microwave steak. A lovely, well done steak. Would you like to eat some? Yes, I would. I am hungry after all. That is a mighty good. Who wraps up the silverware like that? This ain't no restaurant. Here, I'll do the sound effects for you guys. Mmm, tasty. Oof, that steak was not done right. That wasn't, that wasn't rare. That was unheard of. Puke it up in the trash bin. Alright, let's go to bed. 
Now that we had some steak, we can go to sleep. You feel sick. Let's puke it up then. Blah. You threw up. Should have went to fucking sleep in the first place. What's that noise? It's probably nothing. Yep, let's go back to sleep. Boy, my bedroom sure is dark and scary looking. Especially after that thing I ran into in the staircase. Welcome to White Space. You have been living here for as long as you can remember. Yep, that's white. Ooh. Adjust your eyes, people. Um, oh, I guess I can't leave you. Uh, nothing different. Oh, except for that, that's different. We saw that in the water. Does he sketch shit that we find? Leave me alone. Collect the keys to fill in the blanks. Incorrect keys will be discarded to the right. Hangman, what am I doing? So I gotta find these in the real world? I'm not gonna remember where all these are. I'll just look it aimlessly. Oh, I can pull it up whenever I want. Something fell nearby. Here it is. I found a map. Yikes. Alright, open the map. So I've got this. And I've got oops. And I've got this. Let's leave. We are ready. Open the door. Oh, I feel like I need to yawn a lot. I'm back. I'm on. Thank goodness you're here. <clears throat> Have you seen Basil? We can't find him anywhere. We should go tell Mara you're okay. She's been worried sick. You're right. Let's go. Would you like to make toast? Yes. Single plate. I already looked at the oh plant. Nope. Uh, 
I can't go right there. S waiting for something to happen. S going out, Amari. S here's your allowance for today. 200 clams. Oh, yeah. Maybe if we follow these. Hey, there's the A key. Even though I'm, I'm not playing on a keyboard. 11 keys left. In the grass near a stump. What are you talking about? In the grass near a stump. What stump? There's no stump around here. Oh, this stump. I'm stupid. Alright, so I should actually read these. So, on a shrouded old bridge... Look for bridges. Pinwheel. Cast off cartridge. Underneath a wet pillow. Look for pillows. Large frame. Beneath the trap door. Pyro's flame. Line a dark cell. Pink cage. Hall of framed faces. Big stage. Frog. Here, game of roulette. Amongst the. Amongst other O's. Water closet. Small moving room. End of a plank within a live shell. Large bubbly tank surrounded by goo captured in a steel trap in the gut of a whale at the end of the map of a map in a field of snow past the end of the road. Yep. There's Mari. <laughs> um, Amari, are you okay? Don't worry me like that. Where's Basil? He's not with you, Amari? No, I'm afraid not. The last thing I remember was sorting photos with Basil in his house. And next thing I know, I'm waking up in neighbor's room with Aubrey and Kel. At least we found you, Amori. But I hope Basil is okay. What's going to protect him if we're not there? Don't be such a downer, Aubrey. We'll find Basil for sure. You're absolutely right, Kel. It's at times like these that I continued without finishing that sentence. Hmm. Why don't we go back to Basil's house? There might be something that we missed. That's Spirit Hero. And as always, I'll be there if, we need, if you need me. Yes. Going back to Basil's house to look for Basil seems like a great idea. Anyway, I don't think there are any keys in this area. I'm not talking to that thing. Let's go. Let's go all the way back down the Basil's house. Progress the game, butterfly. Watering can. Garden. Another butterfly. Damn, Basil, you sure live far as fuck away. <laughs> Excuse us. I should, I should save. I have not saved yet. Save. Did you hear that? Da 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 da. -dun. Don't worry about that noise. But I actually need to worry about it. Hold on. What the hell? Basil, what the house was like exploded. Oh my, it's the thing from the sketchbook and from the pond. 
You guys saw that, right? Apparently not. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything out of the ordinary. Do you think Basil just left somewhere without telling us? I don't know. It doesn't sound like him. He's usually so considered about these things. Mm. Guys, I'm really worried. Is there nothing we can do? What if we can't find him? What if he's in danger? Stay calm, Aubrey. I'm worried too, but that won't solve anything. Let's go look around the forest. Maybe he wandered off and got lost. Yeah, cheer up, Aubrey. We'll find Basil. Sniff. You guys are right. Okay, we gotta keep our hopes up. Let's go look for Basil in the vast forest. Yes, let's... Anything here? Fireplace. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, choo! What the fuck, a dust bunny? This was a weird fight. Alright, everybody, do your best. Dust bunny's trying to drip. Oh, I defeated it. We literally just punched a piece of dust and killed it. Let's go to sleep. We let yep, let's go. Alright, let's start looking. Now we are adventuring. Uh we are going to adventure in the next episode. I am actually getting invested that I keep going over my twenty minute mark, so hope you guys are as invested in this game as I am. Yep. <laughs>